Do you want to improve your performance? Do you have problems with nutrition or with your weight? Do you want to play better? I have eight nutrition rules which will help you to become a better player. Hi, I'm Jiri Popelka, Volley Country founder. My channel is about volleyball advice, tips and exercises. Subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to turn your notification on. In my videos I'm speaking uh, that uh, volleyball is a complex sport. Uh, it isn't only about your volleyball skills. Uh, it isn't only about hard attacks or high blocks. Uh, it's about other elements of volleyball player which you should take in consideration and work on them. And food and nutrition is playing an important role. Success in any sport doesn't only depend on hard trainings, uh, but also on nutrition which provides the athletes with the ideal ratio of uh, nutrients for physical performance. In long term, food can make a big difference in our performance. Imagine a player eating only two times per day burger or fast food meals and try to compare it with a player who is eating the way which is ideal for his body. Who is creating condition for his maximum performance? I bet you know the answer. And what do you want? I believe that we are what we eat. If anyone wants to change himself or herself permanently, they must change themselves and their lives. Even small changes in eating habits can significantly improve your health and performance. I will show you a way in healthy nutrition to achieve improvements not only in your health but also in your performance. In the middle of uh, confusion caused by contradictory statements, uh, alarming news and their recurring uh, denial, I offer advice from top class uh, nutrition expert which helped me to achieve great per volleyball performances. These advice aren't complicated. Don't expect any shocking advice how to lose 5 kilograms in one week or that you have to follow uh, some popular diet from Hollywood star. These 8 rules of the right nutrition are ideal for all people, not only volleyball players. If you follow them, you will see improvements in your life in long term. We can't live without drinking. Our body needs water. A sufficient amount of fluids is an absolute basic, so drink in a regular intervals. It means that uh, when you wake up, don't drink only coffee, add a glass of water, milk or juice. Drink regularly during the whole day. Also, once you come to your training, bring your bottle with water. I don't recommend uh, sparkling water. It isn't good and Coca-Cola is the worst option. Rather drink during practice water every 20 or 30 minutes. Drink about 2 deciliters, not more. Also, I don't advise to drink whole bottle at once. It's better to drink more often than a lot of water at once. Second advice is about regularity. Try to eat in regular intervals approximately every 3 hours. It's much better for your body than one huge meal. Your stomach won't be overloaded and also you won't feel without energy after such meal. When you are preparing for your practice, don't eat sausages, french fries or similar food. It's better to have a piece of chocolate or apple. This way your stomach won't be your enemy during practice. The time span of the first 30 minutes after the end of practice, which led to exhaustion of glycogen reserves, is magically critical for optimal recovery of glycogen resources. If you supply the organism with uh, needed uh, carbohydrates and proteins after those 30 minutes, the speed of glycogen res recovery decreases uh, dramatically. Your organism has priorities. It either creates energy or stores it. Enable it to do so by eating in pieces, at least three main meals. Give your body time to absorb, create and store energy. You will need it uh, for your performance and without energy you can expect good volleyball game. One of the common problems is that uh, we are eating fast, we don't have time to eat, uh, we are in hurry. That's not optimal for our body, so do not hurry with a big meal, chew properly and enjoy every meal. Choose natural food without preservative, artificial food uh, colorings and flavors, uh, sweeteners, uh, acidifiers and uh, nitrate salts. It's not easy to resist the temptation to eat some food which is heavily promoted in ads. Take McDonald's or Coca-Cola for example. You can see many ads on TV, internet and social media showing you happy people eating or drinking their products. But you know that uh, these are not the right meals and drinks when you do sports. When you work on your volleyball skills and you want to develop. And a volleyball player can't survive only on Coca-Cola and McDonald's. 
I'm not saying uh, you can't eat burger or drink Coca-Cola at all, but my point is that there are better and more beneficial meals for your body. Your body needs uh, nutrition with maximum benefit for you. If you want to be a better player, you need as good as possible nutrition. Foods and nutrients uh, shall be consumed in the most natural state possible to preserve the maximum of their original nutrition value. This advice uh, you should remember. Always prefer food in the most possible natural state. This is obvious. Fundamentally, never skip breakfast. It has been proved uh, that its absence leads to drop in the performance of an organism and increase in weight. Imagine uh, you are a professional volleyball player practicing two times per day, expecting morning and afternoon practice. How can your body be ready for morning practice if you don't provide any energy from breakfast? How can your brain work in school without energy? It's just not possible. Yes, your body will survive without breakfast, but it's just surviving. And I bet you want to develop. You want to be healthier, you want to be stronger, you want to, your brain to work at 100%, so never skip breakfast. Sweets are not forbidden. It's not a problem to insert a sweet in the scam if you have an active lifestyle and the amount of lipids in your body is optimal. You can have chocolate, cookies, ice cream. You should be balanced, not only your nutrition, but also your feelings and tasties. So uh, sweets from time to time are okay. Just control the sweet amount. Whole cake for dinner after long practice isn't the best option. I will surprise many of you. Have a revolution day. Have a cheat day once a week when you eat whatever you want in the amount you want. During this day you can violate rules. Uh, you can eat uh, whatever you want. I advise this day should be your day off. Day without training or a game. My revolution day was mostly Sunday. I didn't have game and my body was resting before Monday training. Keep in mind that even if everything is allowed in this day you should still drink regularly and eat regularly. I'm speaking about nutrition in this video, but it's not only about healthy food, hydration, working hard in gym during practice, preparing for volleyball competitions uh, with your team. Exercise, even with the lowest intensity, should be a natural part of your daily routine. It doesn't matter if you are a professional volleyball player or amateur player. If you follow my advice, this is part of it. You can go shopping, ride a bike or walk with the dog. Exercise will help your body to absorb well everything you eat or drink. Exercise will also spread your blood and brings important nutrients to muscles. That's it. Don't underestimate nutrition. On the other hand, it's not big science to follow my advice and these 8 nutrition rules. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.